2K Sports checks in with our loyal viewers with the broadcast from Philadelphia. It's the home of the 76ers, the Wells Fargo Center. You're in for a treat as we bring you NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg. Greg Anthony, David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Now here's Harden, following the miss by Brooke Lopez. Three-pointer. Harden can't hit. Here's Antetokounmpo, and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. How about the flash by Antetokounmpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. And the jam by Harden. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. First team. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Now here's Harden. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. You know, we talk about Harden's skill set, which is superb, but there's no quit in this guy. He's got a great competitive spirit. And even when you bang him and bump into him, he just muscles through that and says, play on. And that one's good by Giannis. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. He's not there. Now, here's Tucker. Out to Harris. Six to shoot. With the teardrop. Great D that time for Middleton. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one. Missed it. And has no one to blame but himself. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Giannis has got six. And the ball handling of Antetokounmpo, my goodness, really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. Cutting hard to the bucket, leaving the defense in the dust. Holiday, no one around him. Sinks the three-pointer. Boy, from three-point range, Holiday can really be effective now. He's worked on that part of his game over the years and forces the defense, as a result, to have to come out and guard him at times. Pass to Harden. Up again. Lopez grabs the board. Bucks leading by five. Here's Allen to the inside. Stolen by Tucker. Embiid. Harden has a wide open look. That's good, and that's Embiid with the assist. Seven points in the game. Harden, so versatile offensively. He initiate. He can play off the ball. He can beat you in transition. He's going to get his points. You can bet on that. Now here's Embiid. Following the miss by Brooke Lopez. Gets a hand on it. And stay with the play. Harris. And that ties it up. Outstanding work by Harris to get his hands dirty on that offensive black. And to the Kumbo. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Pass to Melton. It's so about to Kumbo. 
Now the Bucks moving it up. The shot by Middleton, wide open. And so the ball's out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. Ball. 76ers trailing. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. I had a chance to catch up with Mike Budenholzer. He was worried about their interior defense. He doesn't want them getting gutted in the paint. He told his players, look, they're going to score, but we've got to make it difficult on them to give ourselves a chance to win. Guys, let's see if they can follow that advice. Thanks so much, David. Working with it. Now guarded by Kumbo. And Harris, wide open, he shoots. Boy, what a find. Harden's passing skill, incredible. James did win an assist title, you know. Out to Harris. Back to Tucker. 76ers moving the ball around. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a mm -hmm. little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. Now, here is Holiday. On the wing, a Holiday. Allen outside. Five on the clock. Pulls up. That one off the back iron and out. And so Harden will bring it up for Philadelphia. They trail by one. Harris outside. Pass to Melt. Back to Harris. Kicks it out to Harden. Fires from deep. Poked loose. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And the Bucks with possession. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Giannis has got 12. And with Giannis, a little power goes a long way, getting him past the contact and to a shot. From deep Harden. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. Substitution for your 76ers. Kyrie Bucks leading by three. And here's Giannis. 12 points for him. Just five on the clock. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Lopez with the steal. It's Kumbo on the wing. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. They've really been disruptive on the defensive end. Forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. Now here's MD. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Brook Lopez. That's his first. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injuries. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did, oh my, a monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. And the 76ers making a change here. Here's Antetokounmpo. 14 points for him. A 
Lots of room. Rebound by the 76ers. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. Back to Portis. Allen in the post. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. One thing you got to love about Grayson Allen is his confidence. For sure, and every good player has great confidence. And with Grayson, it shows up beyond the arc. I mean, we've watched him naturally morph into a volume three-point shooter. And every team values having a guy like him because he can really stretch the floor and create good spacing for your offense. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. A shot by out of the combo. Nobody around. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Milton with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Comes up. And Giannis throws it down. Super quick in transition. The Greek freak jumping down the throat of the defense with that speed. Here's Embiid. And he finishes nicely on the way. Embiid's got five points so far. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Now, here's Andy Kumbo. He's got 16. Clearly, the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. And the shot goes in from MB. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Holiday. Holiday. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Five points in the game. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Oh, and the jam by Embiid. And you guys know JoJo loves busting out these dunks. What an athlete. Bobby Porter. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. Allen for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. That will count. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. It's pretty clear that Middleton takes pride in his defense. If he can't block the shot, he's going to do everything he can to at least. 27. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And guys, what's your take on the 76ers so far? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Better to be lucky than good. Got that shot to fall. Aston Niang. Maxi with it. Milton on top. They double in with Middleton. Three on the clock. Here's Niang. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Outside Holiday. Park of guys playing today. Who would you put your money on to be a successful NBA coach? You know, Kevin, the smart money is on point guards, but I think any player that's been a student of the game could be a successful coach, but point guards most likely is my answer. Chris Paul, maybe even a guy like Jalen Brunson in the future. Here's MB. He's got nine. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. 
And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Giannis, right side. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Here's Maxi. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. There aren't many players with a quicker first step than Tyrese Maxey. And I love the way he uses it to his advantage, Greg. I mean, he's got an athletic advantage over most of the guys that are defending him, and he'll exploit it every chance he gets. But that quick first step and fearlessness, lethal combination. Pass to Ingles. Middleton outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Giannis. Oh, what a finish! Good. And it's hard not to commend the calm nature and demeanor of the Greek freak. I mean, even in pressure situations, Antetokounmpo never seems to get outside of himself or never seems to give in to what the defense is trying to do to disrupt him. And Middleton, now it's off the key. Pass to Ingles. From the arc. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Getting better and better as a playmaker. Giannis is the ultimate team first superstar. He does put up big assist numbers, and that's an evolving part of his game. And he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Here's Giannis. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. You know, when Giannis is being this aggressive on offense, he can be really hard to stop. The defense needs to make an adjustment. Here's Milton. And that one is off. Now the Bucks take it the other way. And the double up on a Dekumbo. And the rejection by Embiid. Look at how well Embiid uses his size on defense there, swatting down the shot and doing it with authority. The 76ers trail by 15. Here's Maxi. And beat inside. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. For three, Middleton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Middleton's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Looking to end the run. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Yeah, we call that playing through the whistle. You know, he didn't give up on it when he heard the whistle. He kept his focus, his concentration, and he found a way to get the shot up and down. Down his high post. He's got 22. A clear look here for Middleton. Misses off the right iron. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. Pass to Milton. Now Maxi. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Substitution on the court. Here's Harden. Harold. 
Harrell on the foul. Harrell's got his first two points. Harrell is an elite offensive rebounder. He's actually one of my favorite guys to watch work the glass. Antetokounmpo looking it over. Down low. Here's Lopez. Count that one. And the Bucks lead by 15. Lopez not to be denied. Nice strong finish there. Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. And, Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty much like their city, so they tend to play with a chip on their shoulders. You know, when you think about the all-time greats in Milwaukee Bucks history, I mean, two names come right to mind at the top of the list. Lou Alcindor, also known now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. 19-point game is a smart player. I mean, when the defense isn't right on him, he makes him pay. Love seeing him shoot that pull-up. Nice. Giannis outside. And the double up out of Dekumbo. Pass to Lopez. And DeAnthony Melton picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. It's his second personal foul. Clark, both Kareem and Giannis Antetokounmpo are greats in their own unique respective right, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, forces of nature, both of those guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the iconic and unmatched skyhook, which was a lethal weapon. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, you think about his athleticism, his speed, his ball handling skills at seven feet tall is something we've not quite seen. Both of those guys had similar impact in their uniqueness and their championship caliber mindsets. That's the Harden. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Goes up. Rebound by the 76ers. In the corner, Harden. Trying to break free. Can't cash in from close range. Giannis outside. This one for three. Sinks the triple. Giannis has got 13 points now in the quarter. No denying that's an encouraging sign. When Giannis is connecting from downtown... This offense really opens up. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Right side, onto the Kumbo. And onto the Kumbo, slams it in. Man, it would be kind of cool to be Giannis for just one game. He makes dunking and getting to the rim look so easy. Pass to Melton. Stolen by Carter. Loads it up for Giannis. Here's Melton. And here is Harrell. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. 59 seconds left in the second quarter. From deep, onto the Kumbo. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. You know, there was a time when Giannis wasn't too comfortable on catch and shoot jump shots. That's not the case these days, and that's a testimony to his hard work. And they get it back. 
Philadelphia moving the ball around. Harden outside. Six on the shot clock. Fires for three. The shot comes out. Giannis with some nice D. It's tipped. Inside. Giannis dunks it down. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've oh, wow. wow. Assisted by. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. 